Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're all having a really awesome day. Today's video is actually going to be another collaboration video, and this will be the final one for a little while because Inktober is coming up, and that will probably take over my life completely over this next month. But for this collaboration, I'm collaborating with one of my awesome art friends, Rachel, and she is freaking spectacular, you guys. Like, I will link all of her information down below. Her Instagram... Her YouTube channel, all of it, is so freaking gorgeous. And she's really awesome because her styles, she can do so many different styles with her art, and I'm so envious because I pretty much just stick to one style because it's my comfort zone. But she can do realistic stuff, she can do her style, she can do very anime-looking art. It's all freaking gorgeous. So you guys should totally go check out her video after this video is finished, of course. And subscribe to her and show her all the support and love you guys show me. So for this collab, we decided to each draw a surreal character and then we'd swap the line art and color each other's drawing. And that, this is actually my first time ever doing that, and I had so much freaking fun with this, you guys. Like, I didn't think I'd like collaborating like this, because I kind of like sticking to my own stuff. But doing other people's coloring, like coloring other people's line art, really pushes me out of my comfort zone. And it also allows me to kind of develop more skills and to look at other artist styles, like, really up close. So for my drawing, I decided to do line art of like a sea woman. She's like floating around in the ocean and I do a bunch of jellyfish with her and her hair is kind of being swept up in the current. It's more fantasy than surreal, but I mean we were kind of doing like a fantasy slash surreal theme. Plus the fantasy characters is what I really like to stick with. So I really wanted to incorporate something where she'd be able to incorporate lots of watercolor effects and lighting. And she actually did, like you guys, when she sent me that artwork, I like my mouth just dropped because it was so freaking good. And the cool thing is is that when I was doing my artwork, I had a vision in mind of what the colors would be like if I did it. But then when I saw what she did, it was completely different from what my expectations were. And I was blown away because it was so different from what I'm used to. And it really, like, I don't know, made me appreciate all these different colors. Because she really did it with a bunch of colors that I wouldn't expect normally to do with that piece in my mind personally. Now for her line art, she drew another gorgeous surreal woman and she did it in her style. And I freaking love it. It's very almost steampunk looking, but also kind of like... I don't know, like, tattoo pin-up character? I don't know. It's really gorgeous, and she incorporated lots of pretty flowers and bubbles, and it's all, again, very surreal and dreamy looking, which is right up my alley, and I loved coloring her artwork. So for my line art, I used a... Hold on, what are they called? I don't freaking know off the top of my head. They're called... Hold on, I have one right here. Um, they are called, I guess archival ink pens, I don't know what they're really called, but I think that's the name, and I used mine in like a .03 size. That's what I used to do the line art on my half, and then I also intensified some of the lines on her drawing when she shipped it over. And then to color her drawing, I used Windsor & Newton watercolors, as well as colored pencils, I think they're Prismacolor, and then I did some digital editing at the very end for highlights and bubbles and all the things like that. And I will um, show the digital part I did at the very end of this video, and the digital part will be incorporated into the speed paint. So yeah, I really hope you've had a really awesome week. I'm currently preparing for Inktober, which actually starts tomorrow at the time I'm recording this voiceover. And I'm so freaking excited, but I'm also like kind of terrified because like again, I've tried to do Inktober many times before and every time I failed miserably and it's been a big disaster. So I really hope I can do it this year and I'm really excited to kind of like be able to do a lot of different drawings and kind of like go outside my comfort zone and try a lot of different characters. I definitely want to try to draw more guys. And if you guys have any suggestions for drawings you like to see me do in Inktober, since the drawings will be somewhat simple and I'll record one every day, I'll have a lot of options. Well, I'll have a lot of days to fill. So if you guys have any ideas, I could totally do that. I know I want to do some fan art and I also want to do, of course, my own style with fantasy characters. But for the most part, that's all I have planned. And if you guys have any other ideas, it would really help me out. And just so you guys know, if I've messaged you in the last month or so about a collab, I am definitely going to get to that. But since it is Inktober coming up, I do want to focus on that for a little while, or at least get maybe a couple drawings done in advance before I can start working on another collaboration. But I can definitely start working on those collaborations at the latest by um, the end of this month. Because I also do have a couple large commissions I need to get done, and I'm kind of dreading doing them, even though I really want to get them done, because they're going to be really awesome when I do them. So I need to start working on those as well, which is why Inktober is going to be good, because I'll just be doing small sketches every day, and I'll be able to really put a lot of my time and focus on um, 
the bigger commissions I'm doing. And oh my gosh, you guys, just so you guys know, freaking Banks released her album today, and if you don't know who Banks is, she's basically like the most badass alternative woman singer out there. Like, she's so freaking talented, and all of her songs are like super deep and like emotional, and every time I listen to her music, I just feel like a freaking like badass just because her songs are so freaking intense. And she released an album today, and I have pretty much spent all day listening to it, and I know all the lyrics of all the songs already. And if you guys have never heard of Banks, you should totally go listen to her music and download the album and support her because she's freaking amazing and she deserves so much more support. So like there's my little musical suggestion for the week. You should definitely go listen to The Altar by Banks because like, again, perfection. She's a freaking goddess. Oh my god, and while I was editing this video and while I was like going through the footage, I didn't realize but like the entire time I'm painting or drawing and B Banks brought this up. I'm freaking like belting or attempting to belt because literally I can't sing at all and if I included a clip your guys' ears would like bleed but like I'm just singing the entire time and it's like the cringiest thing to watch back if it's not sped up with the sound taken off. So yeah, I really hope you've all had a really great week and I will see you all for the Inktober videos next week and again, please go check out Rachel's channel and support her and watch her perspective and see what she did with my line art. So I hope you all have a really awesome rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video.